Tar. Wait, is it too soon? Have we gotten to the moment in the program where we're all exhausted and just ready to go home? Home, a word that most certainly takes on a different meaning after the past year. Home is where the heart is, they say. Home, thank you to Chancellor Guskiewicz for welcoming me back home. Thank you to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill class of 2021 for simply being here. I think that that is all that we can ask of students after the past year, especially students who embarked upon such different and maybe even difficult times in order to finish off their college career. Congratulations, you did it. You did it boldly, you did it fearlessly, you did it intelligently, and the prize of it all is that you did it in a pandemic. I jokingly talk to you about leaving this ceremony to go home, to the place from where you hail. And for some of you, that just may be the case. Whether it be a small town in North Carolina, a bustling city on the West Coast, or one of the many nations around the globe. For some of you, you will leave this 729 acre campus and journey around the world. For some of you, you will go off to graduate school to further hone your professional skills. For some, the vaccinated ones, of course, you will take on a much needed vacation. I almost put a line in this speech about where I was headed after my undergraduate commencement in 2008. But then I realized that my mom is probably going to watch this, so I'll spare her the embarrassment. Look, mama, I made it. <laughs> Nevertheless, no matter where you are headed after this moment, similar to myself, Carolina will always be home. You know, I actually grew up about 10 miles from UNC in Hillsboro, North Carolina. Every single Thanksgiving, obviously with the exception of 2020, my extended family gathers at my mama's house, just 15 minutes from where you sit. Upwards of 50 people come to eat turkey, stuffing, macaroni and cheese, collard greens, yams, you name it. Before we break bread, right before the blessing, we go around the table so that we each can say what we are thankful for. I remember exactly what I said when it was my turn in 2019, the Thanksgiving before the pandemic began. I said, as I take the next steps, no matter where my career will take me, the one thing that I am consistently thankful for is having a place to call home. Home is my grandmother's house on Thanksgiving, my mother's for Christmas. Home to me is in part Hillsboro. I even say the air smells different, fresher, more peaceful there. No matter how many times I attempt to fry peach pies in Maryland, they will never taste like my grandmother's. Home just isn't about the place you were raised though. Home is or are the culmination of places that amass experiences that shape who you are, that shape who you will be. Home is Carolina, the lecture hall for Friday morning pop quizzes, Franklin Street for wild Halloweens. Sure, with those great things, college may have also presented its obstacles. There is no shame though. I got my first bad grade in college too. Everything may not have been peach pie, but the beautiful thing about this moment, as you leave this place, a place that has shaped you for the past four years, is that you now have the privilege to decide where you go from here. It is the time when you are becoming who you are destined to be. The time when you are finding your why. A time when you are figuring out your place in this world and where do you belong? Well, 
I'll tell you something. I am 35 years old and I'm still figuring that part out. But when someone asks me who I am, the things that I know to be true and ingrained are the things that even when they aren't peach pie, made me who I am. Those things from home, not just the scientist or the vaccine developer, those are the things that I am to the world. For you, that might be lawyer or teacher or doctor or preacher, but your being, the part of you that you will take to every single profession or place that you embark on for your lifetime, those are the things that make you uniquely you. Everyone in that stadium is now a Tar Heel, but your being, the pieces of you that are unparalleled to anything that anyone else has to offer will come from remembering from where you came, from where you conquered, here at UNC and every other step along the way. Today, as you sit there perhaps nervous about your future or uncertain about what is to come, remember that you are exactly where you are supposed to be. You are going exactly where you are destined to go. And as my dad so eloquently put it as he dropped me off at my first apartment, if the world ever mistreats you, remember that you always have home. Congratulations.